Hi guys, it's Monday. I'm filming a new vlog for the first time in a month. Um, currently on the set of Cicada. Because I can't pronounce that. Uh, this is my friend Steve. I've known him for seven years. He's actually the writer of the film. Um, he put me in a comic uh, yeah. last year. Was it last year? Or yeah, year? last year. And I always say, if one of my friends is doing something artistic, I'm going to help push them. So he did a um, fundraiser on, what was the website? Indiegogo. Thank you. This, this is why he's here. He's for the technical stuff. I'm here just to ramble. Um, <laughs> he did that. I thought, do you know what? It's a good opportunity to help raise some money for a good project. And it also, I paid enough to make me the executive producer on this film. So that also helped. Um, do you want to just quickly explain what the film is about? Yeah, so basically uh, the film uh, follows a girl called Lena. Um, she is about to turn 18 and on her 18th birthday she will become the most powerful witch in the universe. Um, but she doesn't quite understand her power, she has a lot of trouble with it. So it's kind of like a coming of age story and there's kind of evil forces coming out to perhaps use her power for no good. Yeah, that's pretty much it. And she twerks. Because <laughs> I'm in the scene where she twerks. And it's, and it's current as well, yeah. You've got to keep it current. Yeah, so we're currently um, just waiting for setup. I'm an extra in one of the scenes. I'm going to have to dance, so if this does get a DVD release, people will mock me heavily. I also look like I'm at a funeral. What may have been a mistake, considering everyone else has decided to dress down for the occasion. Yep, that's the set. God, I love this camera. <laughs> and um, yeah, so Steve managed to get himself a line in this because someone dropped out and he's literally just been, considering he wrote the actual script, it's quite funny of him trying to do the voices of how he wants to say it. This is my Stan Lee cameo. Okay. It was actually meant to be in my line, but then the other producer was like, oh, well, considering you wrote it, you would know how to say it. Plus, I've kind of got a cold, and you don't want to hear me go, what was it, what's the line? Hmm? What's the line? You've, you've forgotten the line already. Uh, way to go, Joey, you dark horse. There we go. You dark horse. I think you could add, like, a cheer to it, though. Like, yeah. Yeah, I think yeah, I might boy. do it. Get like made in Chelsea on it. Yeah, know? yeah. <laughs> nice one, bruv. Um, yes, yeah. dog. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Jules. Yeah, yeah. Pop, pop. I don't know. <laughs> I'll write something. So we just recorded our scene. Uh, Dean, the friendly barman, as well. I am. Uh, so how how are you involved in the project? Um, I've been a friend of Dolores's for a few years. Um, well, quite a number of years now. So I'm just helping her out. Um, she always promised me a little part. So here we go. Hopefully I'm doing good. And uh, Steve managed to get uh, through his scene. Steve, how many takes did it take for you? I think it was eight. I think it was on eight takes. And what happened on the seventh? No, sixth. Sorry, sixth. I forgot to say the line. It wasn't that you forgot to say the line, you just said the wrong name. Yeah, had to. <laughs> There's nothing worse to dance in to the same song over and over again, <laughs> and then and then just just it's just confusing. It's fun, but it's confusing. So apparently we hadn't finished our scene and we had to take a few more takes. Um, what's the time now? I think we've been at this for like two hours doing one scene. Yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough time. And then um, we had a close-up scene. Walter, you're okay with you? Yeah, so we had a close-up scene, so there's a good chance that my face is going to be... Whoop. Sorry, I almost spilled water everywhere. That would have been terrible. <laughs> um, yeah, so his face is close up in the film, and my face is probably close up. You poor people. Sorry about that. I still can't believe you screwed up a line that you wrote. Yeah, but once it's out there, I just you know, I move on. It's so quickly. Uh, you know, Pro constant professional. Yeah, exactly. Constant professional. Always thinking about the next moment, you know. Yeah.
So, uh, Steve, how did this uh, film all come about then? Well, basically, um, there, uh, there was a call out for uh, short film scripts, and um, the spec kind of suited what you know the style I already wrote, which is kind of like dark fantasy, you know, involves kind of coming of age stuff. That's the sort of you know, stuff that interests me as a writer. Um, and so yeah, it just seemed the perfect match. And, uh, sent an email, and then got an email back basically. <laughs> And how much did the um, Indiegogo, Indiegogo? Did I say that right? Yeah. I said that right. <laughs> Go me. How much did that raise for the? Uh, it was over one, I think it's 1,100. So it wasn't anywhere near our target really, but yeah, it looks like it's, you know, they're uh, doing a really good job with it. I'm pretty confident that they'll, they'll make it something pretty good. So. And who was the highest contributor? Uh, that would be you, I mean. Uh, <laughs> Closely followed by myself. That's why I'm an executive producer. <laughs> I'm high up on the totem pole of this bitch. Yeah. I shouldn't say bitch. I apologise for saying bitch. I'm high up on the totem pole of this movie. Yeah. <laughs> you should say son instead of bitch. I'm all up. All up. Now you saw him. Sorry. I just said bitch too. Sorry. I, 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 I'm I, never buying one of your comics again. Also, on the <laughs> on the uh, fr- on the subject of comics. Oh, okay. Um, just trying to dig a little deeper, I see. Uh, Kaiju Still. Yeah. Issue three. Yeah. Am I dead? No. I am not. It's not confirmed at that point. But a lot of people die. A city is destroyed. So. But we're not sure if I'm dead. No. But unlike Man of Steel, you know, people do die. Can I come back as a zombie? No zombies. No zombies. No zombies. I don't write zombies. Too much zombies. Yeah, yeah. Because didn't you do? uh, Not the zombies are bad. Zombies are good. Didn't you do Elsbury Dead? I didn't do Elsbury Dead. Who did Elsbury Dead? That was Will Axtell. I was in Elsbury Dead as a zombie. That's why. I I get kicked in the face in issue one. Yeah, that was cool. Well, (laughs) apparently I get crushed by a building when a kaiju comes out of the ground. So, but it's not confirmed. Or do you? Or do I? Or do you have superhuman powers? And uh, you know. I have superhuman powers. I love the inference in that. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, all right, now we are... <laughs> no, your name. Oh, uh, name. My name is Barry Glassball, and I play Dan, his mate. I'm Bubba, how you do you I play uh, Matt. Matt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, we're on set right now. Cicada. Yeah, uh, me and me and Barry are pr- pretty much just wrapped. Well, That's why we're playing we're not, we're not sure yet. Being we're waiting. Being we're waiting. Yeah, I just we just we got told that we're doing another scene, another dance scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that, that's really funny. A dance scene. Another dance scene. Yeah. Yeah. Another dance scene. So we're we'll ready for a dance scene. Now you can do a dance scene if you want. Um, yeah, so we're we'll just yeah, dance. Time, you'll realize that. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. That was actually a good throw. But you were so close to it, you couldn't really miss. I like the idea of that too, because I'm really lazy. So, how did you guys get into the. Um, into the film, how did you find out about it? And they got back to me, you know, in the process, auditions, called back, that's a majority cool. You know, first sight. Very cool, yeah. Um, and then that's how the magic happens. How many scenes you guys done in general? <laughs> about two, three, including the one where we dance, tend to dance. Oh, are they recording now? I think we've never seen. We're just doing a quick run through of the, um, the kiss scene. It's quite a pivotal part of the film. It's where, um, actually, why am I explaining Steve Utah? It's the end of the film. Spoiler alert, plot twist. <laughs> hashtag, hashtag. Spoiler alert, the film ends. <laughs> So apparently I've been roped in to do yet another scene. Steve is currently writing the feature length version of the film as this is just a short film. This is one of the producers. She doesn't like to be on camera so I'm slightly getting her. She's never done the worm. So I don't understand that. How's no one ever done the worm? 
it's a key part of growing up really, isn't it? It really is, it's the one. And uh, how did you get into the um, the film? Well, there was I got into the film because there was a, an ad kind of thing on Casting Call Pro, which is an acting network, and I just applied for it and went to an audition, and I got a recall a few a few weeks later, I think, and then got the part. Yeah. <laughs> and how have you enjoyed filming, especially now that we've finished wrapping? Filming has been kind of hectic and crazy, but. Like really good experience anyway. I think we, I think we got a lot from it. How was the um, twenty takes of your eyes? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. It was repetitive, I guess. I don't really know what I did differently, but we just kept doing it. So. Just so I can fill everyone in, I'll switch it to me quickly. The twenty takes of our eyes. I had to sit there for ten minutes. It wasn't ten minutes, but I, it was like a long time. I over exaggerate. People would know this from my vlogs. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it was a lot. It was a long time standing there with the camera behind me um, of her just staring into the camera and it was very, very long. So it was very, very, very tedious. Mm -hmm. cool. And have you got any other films coming up or...? I don't have any coming up, but I've got a lot of auditions coming up for quite a few big things. I've got an audition... Actually, I don't want to say, I don't want to jinx it. I'm, nah. I'm not going <laughs> to... Well, no, good. quiet things. But good, good things, if good any of that happens, I don't know. And this is no, the wonderful makeup this is artist. Alice. Yo! Hi! <laughs> Alice has got some serious dance moves. If you do get the chance to see the film, you <laughs> will see it. Do it. Do it, do it now. Do it. Do it. Do it. You, can, you can come in. <laughs> I think it's a pretty laid back vlog. Yeah, it's a very laid back vlog. Come on. Uh, James McClellan, and I'm working on Cicada. And what character did you play? I played Joe. Cool. And how did you get the, uh, the role? I auditioned there, but I think it was just before Christmas time, and then I got a recall just after Christmas, and here I am now. And um, oh, I've done too many of these, I'm tired. Yeah. <laughs> um, what did you think of the, the filming, and are you happy it's finally over? Uh, happy and sad that it's over, it's been a nice experience. Um, Lovely cast, lovely crew, apart from her. Yeah, she's, uh, she's yeah. terrible. She's just rude. She's she is rude. Just very, she is very, very rude. Um, no, it's been a nice experience and it's a shame to say goodbye, but it's been a long day, so it's a... Uh, well, we've got the rap party now, so we do indeed. There, 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 there should be to. some shapes thrown and... Definitely, all kinds of shapes. All, all kinds of shapes, and probably more, some, some more cards. Definitely a little bit of cards. Cool. A couple right. of drinks as well. Cool, thanks. Thank uh, hi, my name is Dolores Collins, and uh, my job role on this is the director. How did you um, come about? picking up the idea for the film? Um, there's not many shorts out there that do um, sort of like the fantasy genre um, and I really wanted to do that and I wanted a really good script and, I, and you know you put so much into it that you just want to do the perfect script so I like needed to find someone um, who I thought I could work really well with uh, which was Steve, who was the writer. Um, I found him, and I was just like, yeah, come along, let's write this, let's do it together. Here's my idea, um, do what I want. <laughs> and then he pretty much did. Um, and I wanted really good dialogue, he was really good at writing dialogue, um, and then we just like worked on the story together, um, made it make sense, and, um, added a bit of magic, a little bit of horror, a little bit of everything. Yeah, I saw some of the horror. Um, <laughs> I, I managed to get a bit of it on camera. Special effects, yeah. aesthetics, but you know, the whole shebang. Um, so yeah, but it's good. How long does it take to sort of edit it down into a, a final piece, do you reckon? It's really funny because there's so much footage, like days of footage, and it's going to be like uh, about like 16 minutes, roughly. Uh, so yeah, but it's going to take a while to edit. It's probably at least, at the very least, a month for like a rough cut. Yeah, and then after that we have to look into getting the special effects and the music, which will take a while as well. And what's your idea to like publish it and put it out there into the world? 
Um, well, yeah, the, the plan is to send it out to as many festivals as possible. Mm -hmm. and hopefully people will look at it and be like, oh yeah, that's really cool. That's a cool movie. Hopefully and San Diego Comic Con. Uh, yeah, San Diego Comic Con is one of the ones that is actually on my list of, of places to send it send it to. Um, and hopefully we'll, you know, I have, well, it's an amazing film. It's awesome. So mm -hmm. we'll get it. Hopefully you will, and hopefully you'll take me with you. <laughs> I, can, I can afford to pay my own travel. Yes, yeah. The car keys for a quick second. Uh, that's the thing, I think, I thought, did someone take them? Because I've got one. Half probably has them. Last minute, please. Yes. Hey, and yes. what about uh, sort of like YouTube, or are you just going to hopefully get it off to some companies? And uh, eventually, one day I'll go on YouTube, but that'll be a long time because it'll be after. Um, all the festival run um, and then we'll put, probably do it like private channels um, first and then like you know two years later YouTube <laughs> so yeah but eventually it'd be nice cause so you're just so the people will just have to see my rough edits and my like behind the scenes stuff before yeah, they can see yeah. the full thing unless they come and see it at one of the festivals and uh, we did a film previously called Once Upon a Time and that will will that's will be out soon as well, like literally on YouTube for everyone to see whenever they want. Um, and you just need to check out my website, DoloresCollins.com, and everything, all the information is on there. I'm not great at editing and putting that sort of thing, but I will try and put a natural clickable link on the video <laughs> so it's easier for everyone to find you. Awesome, awesome. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. No